Hey guys, it's Misty from The Book Rat, and today I'm giving you my thoughts on Scandal by Lindsay Smith. The full synopsis as well as links to the book are below. I will warn you before I get into this that this is a sequel. This is the follow-up to Secret. So if you haven't read Secret yet and you don't want to be spoiled, you might want to skip this video. Now, on to what I thought. This book, much as its predecessor before it, definitely gets a thumbs up from me. This is a really solid duology as far as I'm concerned. So some of the things that I said about Secret that I really loved was the way Lindsay was able to get a lot of tension into the story even when there wasn't anything actively going on. So Yulia, the main character, is a psychic who is able to read memories and emotions and things like that through objects that she touches. So Smith was able to inject a lot of tension just in the way that she's able to pick something up, touch it, and then get these really intense visions of things that have happened. So because it took place in Russia during the Cold War, she'll touch something and she'll see things from World War II or she'll see things from Stalin's regime. That really amps up the tension in what could otherwise be, I don't want to say boring or slow moving because I don't think it is that, but just kind of a not very action-packed book or at least large swaths of it wouldn't be action-packed without the things that she's seeing or that the other psychics are doing. In Scandal, I think it goes the complete opposite. So there's a lot more actual physical action going on in this. There is a lot more bodily danger and tension from things like that. And Yulia's powers are kind of expanding and she's learning how to harness them. So it's not just touching things now. There are other things that she's capable of or realizing that maybe she can do or that she's experimenting with doing and those add their own elements of tension. So it's still really great tension that Smith is injecting, but it's kind of grown from the first book into something new and into something a little more explosive. I also thought the paranoia aspects were really well carried over. So before, when Yuli was part of the KGB, obviously there's a lot of paranoia there. Fear for the position she's in because she didn't want to be part of it. There was the risk that once she comes to the States and is working with the CIA that there wouldn't be that same level of paranoia because she knows her team, she's with people that you think she can trust, and she's away from the elements that she couldn't. But, I mean, it's an espionage story, so that's not the case, and I like that there is still a lot of questioning and wondering, like, are you really who you say you are type of thing. Um, that I thought was really successful as well. For those who really liked the romance aspects of the first book, I would say that this is a little bit less about the romance, but I think it's more that it's about the romance in a different way. It's in a, in a more mature way, so it's not discovery and butterflies and getting to know you. It's more dealing and being there for people and building a solid foundation. And so again, it's a story of growth. It's grown from secret into something more and it's laying the foundation for the rest of Yulia's life. And again, it's something that I think really worked and really took what was there and expanded on it and didn't just regurgitate the same story. There are moments of real worry and heartbreak and angst and that's really carried off well, but there are also moments of hope and it's a story of finding your voice and knowing who you are and what you stand for and being willing to speak that, to speak that truth. So there are little blurbs kind of built into the cover. On Secret, the words that were kind of in the background were, an empty mind is a safe mind. And that was something that Yulia had to live by because she was in a very precarious position surrounded by psychics. And you can't let them know that you don't maybe want to be part of them. It's dangerous in the KGB, I would say. This time around, the blurb is, my mind is mine alone. And that is key to this book and key to what I really appreciated about Scandal and about the series as a whole, is it is the story of growth and of strength for Yulia. And it's kind of a coming of age, but not in any kind of saccharine way. It's a story of empowerment, and I really, really thoroughly enjoyed that. I think it also does a very, very good job of capturing the historical moment and the culture clash. So I loved it in secret, getting to see Cold War era KGB in Russia and experiencing that through Yulia, but it's just as fascinating, if not more so, to then experience the U.S. At, in the 60s through Yulia's Russian eyes and not only getting to know American culture and having it be completely different than what she's used to, but also kind of unlearning the disinformation 
that she would have learned in Russia. So all of the propaganda that she's always heard about the U.S. and then coming here and seeing what the U.S. is actually about. And then, of course, being suddenly immersed in the big, vibrant culture of the 60s and all of the culture clashes that were going on. You know, it talks about mod culture and beatnik culture and you're starting to get like little tricklings of the hippie culture that will come once the Vietnam War really kind of kicks into gear. And it touches on that as well, the Vietnam War and kind of the warmongering of some Americans in position of power. And it touches on a lot of the culture and really tries to build a picture. It did a really, really good job on that. And I, one of my favorite aspects of the book, actually, was seeing the culture clash and seeing Yulia acclimate to the big, brash American culture. And honestly, I'm trying to think if there was anything that I didn't love about the book that I felt like was negative, but... I think I kind of end up with the same reaction as I did to Secret. It was just really solid all the way for me. There probably will be people that won't love it, but that's true of every book. But I think it's a really strong duology, and I was quite pleased. For me, just across the board, thumbs up. I think that's probably all there is to say about that. So that is my thoughts on Scandal by Lindsay Smith. If you missed my video review of Secret, I will leave the link to that below so you can check that out as well. But all in all, I definitely highly recommend this series. It is in stores now, so you can pick it up, and if you have read it, let me know your thoughts in the comments and whether you agree or disagree with me. And that's all for now. As always, thanks for watching, and happy reading!